Hey everybody, today I want to consolidate all the information that you're seeing out there for how to destroy potential nanotech in your body, detox from the thing, and what I'm going to do is take the totality of all the protocols that I've seen, put them into one video. So if you're interested in like, what do I do for my friend? What do I do for my family? What do I do for myself? What do I need to have or what do I need to buy? I'm going to show you what the protocols out there are suggesting. And then I'm going to give you one way to detox from this that nobody's telling you. Okay, maybe like two people that I know of. And... a way to do it completely for free, program that thing to do exactly what you want. And I'm gonna say that most of you are not going to use that technique. It is effective. I know that it will work. And I think it would be really beneficial for you to try out. And I'm gonna save that till the end. I'm gonna go through what everyone else says to do and then I'm gonna give you the easy button, like the easiest way to detox and get rid of these things. But I'm pretty sure you're not gonna do it, even though it's super easy. So let's get started. Now, you know, there's obviously all this stuff going around for the last two years, and people are really interested, like, are they putting nanotech in the aerosolization that they put in the skies, those white clouds that are not clouds that everybody sees? Are they putting it in our food? That's been the suggestion of lots of people that they're actually putting it in the water and the food, whether it's organic or non-organic. And so regardless, if you have to eat, you're getting some of these things inside of you. And of course, are they putting it in uh, you know, those shots that people are taking? Is, is, it, is it in there? Because nobody knows what's in that, right? Like Nobody knows. Whatever people tell you, Nobody really knows. Um, and so, you know, if there are these nanobots or graphene oxide or, you know, nanotechnologies that you want out of your body, there is this detox way of utilizing over-the-counter supplements that people have suggested are very helpful to do this. So let's get right into that. First, I want to show you the exact detox protocol that I was suggesting before all of this, and that is a really simple thing you can make from things at the grocery store, and there's a video on our YouTube channel, and it shows you step by step how exactly to make this detox concoction. And essentially, it's like, it's very simple. It's water, but high quality water. Do not use tap water. You're just gonna be putting a bunch of junk back in your body distilled or reverse osmosis or spring water, yes, okay? And you're just gonna take water and you're gonna add some activated charcoal. Typically, now this is one you can, as a capsule, you can just open this up. You can take out one of these capsules and you empty it out into the water. You can buy way cheaper versions by buying a bulk bag of activated charcoal and that's what I show you in the video. Then you're gonna add some borax. Yes, this is laundry detergent. I'm not recommending that anyone go out and utilize this in any way other than to clean laundry. But I am saying that I drink this and I know many people that have protocols suggesting that they drink it and that it is super beneficial for detox. That being said, it's very inexpensive to buy a lifetime supply because of the teeny tiny amount that I use. And so this is a box I've had for years and it's still this full and I use it for laundry. So it's gonna last you a really long time. So our video talks about combining these two things with water and apple cider vinegar, super simple detox, and the boron, your body does need boron. It's a mineral that your body needs. 
and it's super helpful in detoxification. So you can watch that video for a step-by-step -step of exactly how to make it. And now I'm going to show you what the other protocols out there are recommending you go out and buy, and this is what they're claiming helps with that detox. Okay, so number one, really helpful for detox. The liver processes a lot of the toxins in your body to get rid of them. And the liver, because it's working so hard to detox, it can get overworked, it can get bogged down, it can get full of toxic products itself. And one thing that you wanna do is detox the liver. And this isn't the super secret technique I'm gonna share with you at the very end, but it is something that I don't think most people will do. I personally thought I would never do it, but I've heard it so many times and I listened to a number of podcasts about this that I started doing it. And it's not as bad as you think. So what it is, this is green coffee and there's actually instructions on this bag of coffee. It is not the same thing as black coffee you buy already roasted at the store. This is not roasted. It's green coffee beans. And if you were to buy green coffee beans and try to grind them, this is ground, it'll probably break your grinder. They're very hard. And getting a really good clean source of green coffee to use as an enema will detox the liver. Now, this can be used, some people recommend twice a day, some people once a week, some people once a month, but this is a liver detox that can just reset your liver. You're going to have to do it more than one time. At least three times is what I've heard that you're gonna to need to start that de detoxification and the liver dump process to get rid of those things. You're gonna to have to explore how to do this, what equipment you might need. It's really, really inexpensive and very effective. I highly recommend people checking that out for all types of detox. We've all lived our lives for so many years without fully detoxing our liver. And this is something that regardless of what's going on in your body, that I think could be very helpful. And again, work with a, a medical practitioner. I'm not one, but for liver detox and for full body detox and detoxifying the blood, that is a really, really good way to start. And there's a super secret technique for what to add into there that we'll talk about at the end as well. Next, pine needle tea. Everyone hears this. I honestly, pine needle tea, I think we're just talking about my opinion pine needles, that it's just the vitamin C coming off the pine needles. You can't use all pine needles to make pine needle tea. So do a little research on like which pine needles are around you and whether you can safely make them into a tea. But you're just going to take pine needles from a pine tree outside and you're going to make a tea. Boil some water, throw this in, let it simmer for a little bit, let it cool and you drink it. Super simple. That's like one of the number one things people have been putting out there for like this chikamate pathway and detoxing from the S protein and spike. So if that's something you're interested in, I'm not personally interested in using that for, you know, not that I wouldn't use pine needle tea, I would use it as a vitamin C supplement in the winter, but um, you know, it's being touted and I think it's safe. And as long as you're using pine needles that are appropriate for making tea, and it's always good to learn how to forage your own neighborhood. Go out and give it a try. So pine needle tea, number one. Next, many people are saying, again, activated charcoal. These are capsules of activated charcoal because it is a detoxification supplement. That's what they're gonna give you if you go to the hospital with alcohol poisoning to clean up all those toxins. So, Really simple, it's really inexpensive to buy some of this. Again, if you buy it in a large bag, powdered form, in bulk, it's a lot less expensive, but these capsules are really not expensive. Okay, next, they can, you can use, other than pine needle tea, they say fennel tea. So you buy some fennel seeds, you can make a tea, throw them in, steep them, make a tea, really easy. The next thing is called C60. And C60 is this new to the world, so to speak, supplement that's kind of all the rage in different communities. 
and it's supposed to be like really good at detoxification and really good at bringing electrons into the body. It's made from olive oil, but it's like this extract of olive oil that has higher electrons and a different type of chain. Honestly, my opinion, yes, you can use that. It is part of people's protocols. I think it's a bunch of hype. I think you could just have olive oil, just have some vitamin C. If you need extra electrons, guess what the free way to get extra electrons are? What is it? You go outside with your bare feet and you touch the ground and you get free electrons the way that the body is meant to absorb them directly from the earth. And if electrons are gonna help you detox from anything like what we're talking about, then stand barefoot on the earth. It's free. Super secret. Okay, that's not the super secret technique for the end, but like honestly, you have to use some discernment. You can't just go out and think, I'm just gonna buy all these supplements, I'm gonna take all of them, and everything's gonna be perfect. Like, why are you taking that supplement? What is it going to do in the body? And is there an easier or a free way to do it that's maybe even more effective? Next, they're saying that uh, N-acetylcysteine, and oh, they're gonna make N-acetylcysteine illegal, and you know, it's already not on Amazon anymore. Um, you can, this is a bottle of N-acetylcysteine that usually is, looks like N-A-C, right? N-acetylcysteine. And they say to use this as a supplement and take it as directed. They might have their own protocol if you're finding things online. Honestly, you can see my bottle is unopened and I've got it. It helps build glutathione in the body. It's one of the precursors to glutathione, which is one of the body's master detoxification antioxidants. So that's always great, but your body makes glutathione naturally, as long as you're getting sun and grounding and you're getting enough sleep. So you don't need to supplement with this, but if if you're somebody that's worried about something that's in your body that you want to get rid of, that is what is in the protocol is N-acetylcysteine. It comes in a capsule and that's on the list of supplements for the protocol. Again, I think there's a better way. Next, the, the big one is vitamin C. So this is just a high dose vitamin C and the protocol is often thousands of milligrams of vitamin C per hour. So like every couple hours or every hour throughout the whole day, you're taking vitamin C because the body uses it so fast and gets rid of it so fast and then needs more. So that's on the protocol. So you can get yourself some of this and we have some extra like for kids or whatever, but you know what the best way to get vitamin C is? because humans are one of the only, if not um, one of the few animals that can't make vitamin C ourselves. Other animals can make vitamin C in their body. So we need to get it from an outside source. This is obviously going to be not a synthetic source of vitamin C, but it's going to be um, an isolated source. You would never find this in nature, right? You're not gonna pick a supplement, an isolated form off a tree or the ground. So get it the way that nature provides it. Maybe it's that pine needle tea that we talked about earlier, but honestly, it's better to get it from berries and fruit. Just nature packages that C in the way that our body knows how to use it. If you wanna take vitamin C, get it from a natural source. Next is iodine. So often our body uses these halogenated substances, iodine, bromine, fluorine, and chlorine. These are like the halogens if you're looking at the periodic table. Iodine is the only one that is a really a necessary nutrient in the body out of those halogens where fluorine and bromine are typically not found in foods that we would eat and can be toxic and bind to the same receptor sites that iodine is supposed to be binding to to give us the things that we need in our body. So if, for instance, you're sitting on a couch at home or you drive a car or you've ever flown in an airplane, you are exposed to bromine from the flame retardants in that foam and those were in there by law. Now they're taking them out, but previous to about 2018, every piece of furniture and your vehicles and airlines still, never been taken out of those, contain lots of flame retardants that have bromine in them. So that bromine is getting into your body by you breathing the dust that's around those items and your body takes it in and replaces it, it places it into a site that normally iodine would bind to. So you can go out and get iodine. You have to be careful with iodine. You can overdose. 
I will show you how I use iodine, but I, I don't recommend anyone just go out and start supplementing with a bunch of iodine. You can hurt yourself, but this is a recommended supplement in the protocols that I found. Again, this is me looking at stuff. This is, um, you can drink iodine, and some people say that's the best way. Other people, and the way I use it, is topical. So I'm gonna put a little bit of iodine on my finger. Yes, it will stain. And I'm gonna rub it in to my body. And what they say is that iodine, you can see it's now rubbed in, it will, this will absorb into my body, same with wherever I put it. And if you ever get to the point where the iodine stops absorbing, and it stays stained over a half a day, then you're full on iodine. I don't recommend you get to that point. I think that's gonna to be too much iodine and it can be dangerous to overdose on iodine. You just want little, little bits and people say to start with very tiny amounts. You rub it into your skin, it, your body will absorb that and it will make use of it and start to replace the bromine and the fluorines. So fluorines are from these PFOS chemicals that everyone's hearing about, the forever chemicals, the stain and nonstick coatings like Scotchgard um, or Gen X is another name of one of those chemicals. Those are in our environment everywhere. They're in most people's drinking water if you use city water. So don't use city water. We'll do another talk about water. Um, but get, get some iodine if that's something that you uh, are want to go through this detox protocol. Next is zinc. Everybody needs zinc. Um, you can get zinc as a supplement. This is just one version of it. You can get from Whole Foods. Super easy to find zinc, and that's on the supplement list for the protocol. Next is enzymes. So getting your body to not have to generate and make all of its own enzymes is key because then you save energy in your body to detox itself. But there's a very special enzyme that dissolves proteins in your body that you don't want there. And that's called serapeptase. So this is serapeptase. You want to take it on an empty stomach. If you eat food with this and it's got proteins, it's going to you know, dissolve those proteins. What you want is you want this enzyme to go into your body on an empty stomach and dissolve the proteins you don't want that are inside your body. It can also dissolve scar tissue, like leftover scar tissue from old incidents. Um, if you take this for about a month, I take a very high dose. This is 120,000 units of serapeptase on an empty stomach. And the protocol, you can use this for like a couple months. It's inexpensive to buy a couple bottles of this stuff. So that's an enzyme in a lot of the protocols. Um, next is magnesium. And so this is just a bottle of upgraded magnesium that we grabbed. There are many forms of magnesium. And uh, this form is nano magnesium chloride. Honestly, that's not what I would recommend. And I don't take this, it's just sitting here, but I don't think that's a great form. There's so many different forms, it's better to get them chelated to like an amino acid, like magnesium glycate or something like that. Or the cheapest way is right here in front of me. Take magnesium chloride, dissolve it in water. Heat up a little bit of water, one cup of water to one cup of magnesium chloride. You heat the water up, you pour the magnesium in, you stir it till it dissolves, and you put it in a container. Now you've made, don't drink this, topical magnesium, the spray magnesium. This you're gonna spray on your body and it's gonna absorb into your skin and you're gonna get magnesium. That's on the approved supplement list. Now, this magnesium chloride is not as bioavailable because it doesn't fully all absorb through the skin. The skin only takes in so much and there's not a lot of studies showing how much so what I will show you how to do is, I learned this from Dr. Amanda Vollmer. This is actually her product from her store. It's called DMSO. It's a sulfur compound. We used to use this when I worked in the pharmaceutical industry. It will take anything that you put into it and take it from the skin into the blood, anything. So you could put drugs in here like we did in pharmaceuticals and they'll pull the drug from the skin into the bloodstream. Really great way to get pharmaceuticals into the body should you choose to use those. That's not the industry that I work in anymore. But if you were to add, now this is a lot. So what I do is I pour the magnesium chloride into a spray bottle. So there's again, 50-50 water to magnesium chloride powder. It goes into a spray bottle and I add about 20%. So I fill it up to about 80%, right? And then I add another 20% with DMSO. 
So it's 80% magnesium chloride, 20% DMSO. That's what I do. I do not recommend anyone follow me, but DMSO takes things, anything from the skin to the blood. So it will take the magnesium directly into the bloodstream. We're all magnesium deficient, they tell us. So if you want more magnesium, my kind of secret to use it is the DMSO. And DMSO can be detoxifying all by itself. There's a book called Healing with DMSO by Dr. Amanda Vollmer. You can check out that book and it walks you through lots of different DMSO protocols for all sorts of detoxification and health issues. You can check that out yourself. Now, uh, what you have to be careful of is once you get the DMSO on your fingers because you're rubbing in the, the spray that you just put on, whatever you touch can be absorbed into your body. So if you go and touch a painting, that paint is going into your bloodstream. Be careful. So wait about five minutes after you use that before you touch anything. Don't go and like wash your hands with soap because now you're absorbing that soap into your blood. Wait five minutes, now you're good to touch things again. That is still not the ultimate secret. However, the DMSO I do think is a, a little known secret of its power in healing. And you know, I'm gonna give you one more before I give you the final uh, ultimate way to detox from this thing. And that is vitamin D3. It's not actually a vitamin, it's a hormone. And how often do humans or other animals eat the hormones that they need? It doesn't happen in nature. We generate the hormones that we need. And by calling it vitamin D, we think we can take a supplement and get better. That's not really accurate and it's not really a good idea. And you can take a toxic amount of D3. This video is coming out in 2022. You can look up right now in 2022 where people are overdosing vitamin D3 and having severe consequences. You can get as much vitamin D into your body as you want without using any supplements and you can do it safely. In fact, you can get more vitamin D in your body than you can ever get from a supplement. And it will be put there safely. And you can use that for the detoxification of the thing we're talking about by going out there, outside. The sun produces D in our skin as long as we're showing enough skin. So you'd have to take your shirt off. You'd have to have some of your legs showing. Ideally, 70% of your body should be uncovered to the sun so that you manufacture your own vitamin D in your body. And from a supplement bottle, they come in about a 400 IU pill, 400 IUs in one pill. If you took half the bottle, let's say it's 40,000 IUs, you would probably die or at least be in the hospital from a, a toxification of ingesting that much vitamin D. But if you're outside in the sun, so remember, you're gonna get toxic from half a bottle at 40,000 IUs. You can get like 60 to 70,000 IUs from the sun. There's no negative from that. Now again, get, get your sun safely, right? So don't, do, don't be dumb. Work up to how much time you spend in the sun. But in one sun session, you can get so much more vitamin D and it's all the D that you need. It's not a synthetic form from a capsule that you can overdose on. So that is the last thing that I wanted to bring up for the protocol. Other than what I'm gonna tell you is the number one way, it's right here in my hand, the number one way to detox from this thing or nanotech that's in your food. And it's so simple. And I want you all to do this. I do this. Lots of people we know do this. More people than you think do it, but they're never gonna tell you. And some of you already know what I'm gonna say. So the number one way to detox from the nanotech, from graphene oxide, is this right here. And no, I'm not gonna show you the label because that's actually not what's in here. This was a green juice, it's not green. You can see the color. You see some sediment on the bottom, it's called Ormus. That is alchemy turning Lead into gold, powdered white metallic gold. That's not the trick. The trick is the alchemy of our own body turning this substance into the detoxification that you and only you need in your body to detox from exactly what you're trying to detox from. 
This is ultra filtered blood plasma. This is like being a vampire and drinking blood. This is the plasma of the blood filtered by the best filters in the entire world, vortexed and programmed by this thing right here for what you want and what needs to happen in your body to detox. This ultra filtered golden blood plasma, otherwise known as urine, is how you detox because it knows what we need. This is not a waste product. The waste product comes out the other end. This is given to you by source to be the number one healing modality that you and only you specifically, it's designed through this alchemical laboratory, filtered with intention and healing and detox and structured as it comes out through a vortex that you need to detox. It is free and when it is in here, you can program what you want it to do and it will do that. You are that powerful. You are the alchemical laboratory. It is in here is not out there. Ultra filtered golden blood plasma. That's what this is. Look up the definition if you're not certain. Do your own research. There are a number of books you can find to walk you through the process. But I will tell you that this is the only thing I'm going to use for detox for myself and that I recommend because of the power. And trust me when I tell you this is way more powerful than millions of dollars of supplements you're going to buy and then you've got to follow the right protocol because you don't want to overdose on those things and then they're expensive and you run out of one but you still have a ton of the other supplement and they're supposed to go together in a certain ratio forget it forget all of that you only need one thing and that is this body that you were given we were not put on this matrix without the tools inside of us we need to heal and detox ourselves. You are more powerful than anything that you agree to allow someone else to put in your body or that you're tricked into putting in your body through the food or water supply or aerosolization of the sky. You get to choose, you get to program what you want to have happen in your body and then you get to re-ingest that programmed medicine that's designed specifically for you. All right, put your comments down below. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know what your friends and family have done to help themselves. And let me know if you're willing to try the thing that I'm pretty convinced most people aren't gonna try, but it's gonna be the most effective thing you could possibly do. There it is. <laughs>